going on, everyone out there on YouTube? Silent Speed 19 coming to you guys with a little, with another update video on the Quantum Vandal remade. Now, in my last video, I showed you guys all the little mods I did for it to turn it into what it is, and I know I promised you guys a run video. It's just that I haven't gotten the time yet. Do apologize. Also, the weather is kind of on and off here in New York. It's it's when the weather is nice outside. It's cold as heck. So it's like it's it's a bittersweet. But you know, nonetheless, spring is upon us. Hopefully, the weather breaks. You know, for the for the good of you know our seeing. <laughs> anyway, so it's about probably like around nine o'clock. I just came off the road. I took it out for a night run, and. Well, nothing important bro um, broke on it, but a few things did. As you can see, I'm going to go on a little bit. The wing, well, well, it's no longer a wing anymore. <laughs> and, well, the body pose is okay. The front body pose, though, is completely gone. Along with um, the body clips. Um, and also, as you can see, this body is almost, you know, destroyed. So, you know, I, I was trying to, you know, let it last, but... I hit it again tonight and yep I don't think it's gonna work out <laughs> so I may I might have to get a new body um, sooner than I expected because this body is probably like a, a month old barely has a few runs in it but the constant hits because I don't have a bumper it's you know it's expected um, let me take it off show you guys yeah so as you can see right there um, I did some plastic welding on it with my soldering iron as well as some um, well I did it once, it broke. I did it a second time, it broke again. So I bought some super glue. You know, try to go with that. What's that wet thing there? Oh, it's just water. Yeah, so I super glued it, which held pretty damn good. And unfortunately, um, you see, it sticks out the body a lot when I put over the body, um, the body shell. So any little hits to it, you know, it, it pretty much has enough elevation to snap the heck out of it. So, it snapped off. I found one. Um, the other one, not so much. Um, now these thing comes all the way from England. I had to buy it from eBay. Now the last time I bought these, it came, but I bought the a body to go with it, and the body never came, and I never got my money back. So I pretty much lost my trust in um, buying from England on eBay. So you know, I'll, I still want to run my RC. So what I'm planning to do is, since these batteries right here. Well, the new one I bought, this Venom battery, it's a lot taller. It's a little taller than the bot than the battery post right here, so I can't run the um the little battery cover over it to keep the battery in place. So I'm just gonna put some Velcro, stick the bastard down, and you know that'll work. Since I'm not gonna use these posts anymore, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Dremel these out, both of them. I'm gonna Dremel this down nice and smooth, and I will pretty much super glue it back on because apparently the, the super glue held. It's just that it broke from a different part this time. So, yep, yeah, that's my plan. <laughs> Other than that, the car is fine. However, I do think that running this car in 3S, is a, it's, I think it's too much power for it. But hey, it's all about braking and having fun, right? Um, I still have my 2S battery right over there. The little um, red pack. Um, I'm going to try to get a 2S run in. And then, you know, compare it to the 3S run. Now the third one is a lot, a lot of power. Don't get me wrong. This battery, although it's 20C, it is a kicker, bro. It is, it is, it is powerful. I'm just gonna say that. Um, I do have to find a way to mount this battery thing down because it sticks out a lot to the side right here. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'll probably, I don't know, probably run some Velcro here or something. A loose piece of well, um, I mean tie downs. So it can come out and go in. So when I put the new battery in, you know, I could just run it through and it, it, it operates like a little hook. Um, other than that, though, the servo is a little, it lags a little bit. So this is the, the 2056, I believe it is. Yep, 2056 structure server. This is the one I got in my, my, my Russell over there. Um, I'm going to try to get a 2075, I believe is the other one, which I do have in the Rustler. So yeah, oh, and I still have the original body. So when I put those posts in, I'm gonna drill some holes in that, see how it looks, um, show you guys how it comes out. Um, once again, I said in my last video, if there's anyone who has a, 
any idea of how to make a bumper for this thing or you know know how to you know I'd appreciate the info um yep other than that thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe and of course drop a comment if you have any questions or you know if you saw anything you like and hit the thumbs up you know it helps a lot with the channel thanks a lot guys bye